2022 California Winter Championships with Seth Johnson, the senior at Cajon High School of San Bernardino, doing his first ever multi-events, the pentathlon, 3,428 points, third in meet history, outstanding individual performance in your debut. Decathlon is known always as an adventure all day. Some events you might be on, some might be off. First off, recap overall, how'd your day go? For the most part, I think really well. I'd have to rank it like an 80%. Not too good, but um, fairly well. Seth, an outstanding all-around athlete. You kick off today first off in the hurdles. His time was 8.28. That would have been the fastest time in the open 60 hurdles. Ended up being the fastest time all day, only bettered by Dario Rock of St. Francis at 8.22. So outstanding start to your day. Had a really good showing, potentially, in the long jump because you had two big scratches. Yes. Ended up having like 19, 11 and a half as your best right. legal, right? So not, not your best day there. And then you came right back, your third event? Shot point. How'd uh, that go for you? I think subpar also. I've been working out with my girls coach, just a couple. I've been getting around the 40 foot mark, but today I threw something 36 high. So the pentathlons are making Fourth their event. way to it start line for the final event. Pretty good meters. for high jump. Um, Giovanna high jump, Colasini is the leader from Trinity Pacific Christian, 2,360 meters, 68 points. She's got um, after a seven kind of finish, it was just me and Coach Fee, so I'm just trying to up that as much as I possible. So when you had a bit of a letdown on the long jump, you didn't quite feel excellent in the shot put. Did you surprise yourself in the high jump? Yes, I think so. As bouncing back? Um, I've kind of always been had a bounce back mindset because I do do four events uh, at every single meet during the season. And so I was just trying to refocus, reset myself for the new event. How about the 1K, the 1,000 meters, the last event? I thought I was running a lot faster than I actually was. Um, I've been working doing 500 repeats, and I usually hit like 17, 17 and a half seconds per 100, 400 meters, 100 meters. Um, but I was just going a lot slower than that. Like the 20, low 20 range. Score. And then that wasn't enough. You came back and you do the sprint medley relay, running the lead off on the 1124. You guys have a really good sprinter, Jaquan Smith, one of the better sprinters in Southern California. He wasn't here today. It was a bit of a makeshift squad. They ran you on anchor and uh, it came out quite well. I hope that experience. That was pretty cool. I felt like I was flying. I was in like seven, so there's only one kid to my outside. I caught him within like 60 meters and I didn't feel anybody behind me. Let out. All right past the time really first. So you plan to do the decathlon at UC Berkeley. You've already signed there. First off, your first experience in the multis, what did you take away? What did you learn from it? Just to be relaxed when you can be relaxed. Like turn it on as soon as the actual competition starts, but the wait time, like an hour, 45 minutes in between each event, just relax, conserve your stress hormones, and don't get yourself too worked up. You're used to long days. You're used to doing multiple events at a track meet. Were you pretty tired by the end of today? I was. Like, especially to taking my warm-up uh, sprint out of the blocks. Like, my leg, leg kind of gave out, my sprint leg. Um, but luckily, I was able to square that way before the race. So, very good long jump, hurdles, high jump. What did, if you had to prioritize your focus for this year outdoors at the high school level, what does that look like? Probably... Without even mentioning multis, just focus on my course. Yeah. Probably, I think I could win the state title in high jump because it is a slightly so bigger field this year. I'm trying to go 610, and then my clearance height and my rhythm between the 110. I know Upland has a so great crew. The way Jay Marshall from the will be the overall winner. Really star but I feel like I can get this. And then throwing the multis into the equation, you're doing indoor nationals, correct, for the pentathlon? This March, except for that. Okay, long season, long meets, but you're used to that. Seth Johnson, again, our pentathlon champion, 3,428 points at the 2022 California Winter Championships. Congratulations. Thank you so much.